If any of you guys have a 50 series card and you're playing any modern single player titles that just run horribly, I want to talk to you guys about DLSS frame generation. Elder Scrolls Oblivion Remastered, Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, Dune created out benchmark mode. What's one thing that these games have in common? It's Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine 5 runs very, very poorly. And considering these games aren't latency sensitive too much, it's not like it's an online shooter. I'm willing to muck around with DLSS multi-frame generation if I can get a much smoother experience. Multi-frame generation can be pretty clutch here. You guys can see here, Oblivion isn't really supported here and either is the June benchmark. And we'll look for DLSS, FG, enable DLL override. Go ahead and turn that on. And then multi-frame generation count. Go ahead and put that in four times. Now, this is playable, right? Only an eight millisecond input lag. This is the only way to get the game playable for me. And then we do multi-frame generation. We get about 338 FPS and now input lag doesn't really change. Multi-frame generation really comes in clutch for those single player games that just run really poorly and you don't care about added latency. You just want a smooth experience.